Good day and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Today we are looking at creating excellent Tableau visuals in under 10 minutes. Yes, you've got it right. We will be able to derive insights from data that we are not familiar with in under 10 minutes. That's also why I've got the clock over here. I will start it as soon as we are ready. Now we'll be using some of the unique Tableau features in there. So strap in and get ready. Let's start the timer. All right, so what we have here today is we've got two files. It's from the 2016 Rio Summer Olympic Games, and we've got the files, are both CSV files, it's athletes and countries. Let's have a closer look. So athletes, we've got a list of all the names, the well, a unique ID, which country they're from, the gender, the date of birth, height, weight, the sport they um, partook in, as well as the medal standing. And then we've got in the countries, basically just to look up for the country code, which we have had, which we had as nationality on the athlete's file. Okay, now let's go into Tableau and open up a new instance, and we'll simply connect to the text file as we've done before as well. We'll start off with athletes, and as you can see, it's read incorrectly. The one thing we want to change is the gold, silver, and bronze columns. We want to pivot this to rather have them as lines on our data so we can work with it a little bit better. Now, the, we just have to rename this, we'll call this our medal color, and then this is the medal, so we can see how many of the medals have been achieved. Next, we'll take countries and link that or join that into the, um, onto the athletes file, and we use nationality and country code over there to get, it, get the join, and basically get that geographic role that has been assigned onto country over there. And that's also why we'll start off with a map first, so by just simply taking country and dragging that into our sheet, we get a map of the world. Now we'll see there are three unknowns. And if we just have a look at the locations, we can see these would require some effort to understand where they relate to and whether we should even include them. For now, I will simply filter, this, filter them from this visualization. So the next thing we want to do is to simply look at the number of medals that each country has obtained in this Olympic game. So we'll take medals and we will just drag that onto color. We have a nice filled map and that's sufficient. So if you see, we've got the, in the tooltip the number of medals with United States having the most. And that's our first visualization. Not too bad for two minutes, right? We'll just call that map and we'll start in the next visualization. Now, what would be nice is if we could see actually, like for instance, Brazil, what the 51 medals were made up out of. So let's create a simple bar chart for that. Now we'll start off by using the medal color and then also the actual medals that were obtained. And we don't want a boring text chart. We want actually a bar chart, which I'll flip over. And we also want to color this properly. So I'll just take medal color and put that onto color. Let's bring this across and let's just change the color up. So for bronze, you know, let's use palette 20. For bronze, we'll use that color. For gold, that, and for silver, that one. I think that's the closest we'll get to the actual um, bronze, silver, and gold. Now to actually just order this, we can just take bronze and put it at the bottom. Now we, it, then it runs from left to right, gold, silver, and bronze. Much more intuitive. And we'll call this our metal standings. Let me just fix that mistake, metal standings. All right. Now, it would be nice to have it shown here without creating a dashboard, and that's exactly what we'll do. Now, in the tooltip, we are able to, if we go to the bottom of the tooltip, we're able to insert the sheet by selecting middle standings from there. And what happens here is, as soon as we start hovering, Tableau will show us a filtered view of this semi, of this middle standings chart based on what we are hovering over. Isn't that just clever and pretty, pretty nice? Okay, so that was our medal standings. Next, we'll look at a age distribution and we'll perhaps look at it from a histogram perspective. But as you can see, we don't have age in here. We do have a date of birth and that's what we'll use to create a calculated field called age. Let me just fix that spelling mistake again. Um, we call it age. And the function we'll use is the date diff function. Not sure if you've used this before, but you need to first specify the part that you want to have as an output from this calculation, and then the start date, and in this case, it'll be date of birth, and the end date, which is today. Now, this using it like this and not putting to act today's actual date will update every time you refresh your model or open it. So even in a year's time, it would calculate the correct age at that point in time. And that's exactly what we want. So we've got the age, um, well, the new age measure over there, but 
the histogram we, we don't want to have it per age or well, individual age we actually wanted to put it into buckets and in tableau we use bins for that so we create a new bin and we put five as the number of years that well to put the range there for every five years to create a bin and now we've got a new dimension and you can see there from the icon this is this is basically bins now to create our histogram then is to put that into columns and simply put and not number of records now so be careful when we created the pivot we made more records than there are actually in the original file because we um, pivoted the um, the metal colors so we will use id we know that is a unique field and by using a right click drag over to rows it will bring us bring up a few functions we can use and we want to use the cntd which is count the distinct number of ids so it will only take the distinct ids and count the number that are there and there we go so you can see our biggest age group 25 to 30 with 4453 I don't want this blue color you'll see in a second why so i'll just maybe change it to that color over there i want to reserve that for the next one reserve the blue color and i'll also just remove those let's exclude the nulls we don't want to see that over there so we'll do age histogram and we are ready to move on to the next one so more than halfway let's see if we can speed this up so we actually want to do the same for the gender so we'll just duplicate the sheet and simply take the gender or in this case it's called sex and put that onto age over there we'll also use sex as the color and let's bring this across let's fix the coloring more intuitive we want female as pink and male as blue and we've got the number now of the number of athletes but actually what we are after is to use a quick table calculation and look at it as a percent of total and now we can see that 44 point sorry almost 45 percent of all athletes were female and 55 were male and that is our gender sheet all right and one last one since we've got a little bit more time is to create a scatter plot those are some of my favorite charts as well so we'll just take height and we'll take weight now both of these are being summed and we actually just want to get the average because we'll look at the average distribution of this from all the athletes now as you can see it's just giving us one is aggregating into one measure but we want to look at it from a sport perspective so we can take the sport dimension and put that into color i'll just bring that across as well now what we want to do as well is to include another dimension which is the gender and we'll put that onto shape and that's where we can also change the shape up once again as we did with the color by looking at the gender shape palette so for female we'll select that and for male we'll select that over there perfect now it's a bit small so let's actually add also the age which we've calculated onto the size and that would obviously update a little bit now it seems very very tiny so let's quickly see oh yes it's because it's using the um, sum of age and we actually want to look at the average so if we change that over there you can see it's updated but still they look very similar in shape so we can actually just click on there and say edit sizes use and auto well use our own range and just increase the range a little bit more so we've got a bit more to play around with and then we can just change this a bit smaller it's a bit squashed up so let's change the axes so we can simply say independent axes and untick the zero and the same with this one over here so we, we don't have to see zero injuries because there will not be any i'm hoping no athletes with the zero weight and that's our distribution all right so and also let's just call this our scatter plot all right less than a minute and a half left so let's quickly see if we can put this into a dashboard for us now the size of the dashboard i will specify as automatic we can take the map and start off with that on visualization we don't need to use metal standings we already have it as a, um, a vis in tooltip next we'll take the age of the histogram we'll take the gender split and put that next to it and lastly the scatter plot what i want to do as well is just to remove all of these legends i think our data is pretty explanatory already so i'll just resize this a bit more to give more space to the scatter plot less than a minute left let's see all right and you know what actually for the scatter plot let's also put back the legend that we had for the actual colors it would make more sense to have it next year so we can at least click on the specific colors and see where they are so you can compare the male and female next to each other all right so let's quickly add some 
uh, interactivity. So we'll click use as filters. So anytime that we click on any of these um, cities, or sorry, these countries on the map, all of our other charts will update. So this way we can derive some nice insights by, for instance, looking at South Africa over there, we can see the age distribution. We can see the average age of the athletes in the scatter plot and so forth. And stop the clock. Now, as you can see, that was very, very quick. And obviously there's a number of different um, things we can still update. We can still update the headers and the tool tips and so forth. But that's how quickly you can take any file, put it into Tableau and derive some interesting insights out of that. I hope you had fun and I hope you can try this on your own. See if you can actually beat my record for setting this up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope to see you in one of our next upcoming videos. Until then, happy analyzing.